I for today's tear down at least I have one of those dental intraoral radiographic sensors ARVG or ARVG by Trophy made in France I believe because the interface box is actually French made it will be maybe be featured in another video but not much of interest inside but this I wanted to take it apart for a long time things like this so we must have in here a stack of uh, satiator element big CCD or CMOS sensor and circuit board uh, as you can see completely sealed so it will require some work to open uh, proprietary connector on this odd model of sensor which uh, you know what so it was discarded because of the uh, condition of the uh, wire here mostly which I can cut and we will have a look in this uh, plug first to see if we have any electronics looks like the cover will just come off like so yes two screws nice uh, shielding on the connector by the way so this thing new is uh, several thousand euros okay we have the plug with uh, it is a free row of pins the connector and we actually have atmel 24c164 four. four of them whatever they are some diodes and it is all very nice uh, strain relief on this cable by the way on oh, nice uh, shielded box but it is not the main area of interest we are we are interested in this so to open this oops i will first dig in the there is some kind of a rubber hand here which could come quite easily looks like oh you know what actually i was expecting to have a, a potted thing in a correctly potted in epoxy but no i was wrong it looks like it is some kind of aluminium case with a rubber seal at the end which is very nice because it means I can just pull out the thing and remove all the foil and reveal the insides So we have, I believe, this side seems to be lead because it is to protect from the X-ray the side of the mouth you do not want to X-ray. Then we have uh, copper shielding, more aluminium to foil, and it looks like everything will unwrap quite easily so it is really nice I was not expecting this to be such easy yes look at this we have so more uh, shielding Here, and we have one uh, 
Ceramic Circuit Board, Wave, ah. I believe it is, uh, it is not going any further with Tiadan because we have a stack of uh, oscillator element and it looks like giant circuit, integrated circuit die on all the surface that is probably the, yes, the sensor. Not a lot of electronics apart from this. Must be a manufacturing date here, 2006, so yes, it is quite old. And it is all what I can do without destroying this thing. But I want to keep it for uh, preference. Quite, uh, I will probably install the other wires because I, I do not need them, but uh, very uh, compact construction. So we have a scintillator, uh, light guide, probably on your sensitive element. And it is all. So I was expecting more, in fact, in this. Well, more uh, complications at least to open it. But as you can see, quite uh, straightforward. Interesting. So given we have time left, let's jump directly to the interface box which is this. So we have connector to the sensor, a power on LED, USB plug to the computer, a remote control interface for the uh, X-ray in and power input. Made in 2005, so yes it is quite old. Uh, I need to undo I know these two things here, and then it is just a matter of popping out the cover, no screws in here, quite easy, and here is what we have, shielded box it seems, with uh, old school uh, green lead, and this, so on the sensor side, at least we have a pinout of the sensor, it seems, PL1, P2, PP123, uh, here, I do not know, maybe there are some kind of uh, isolation stuff, because it must be completely separate from the patient, uh, insulated for the patient side, so we must have all these uh, things, maybe this is a transformer to power the, oh, this is not good anymore it seems because this is uh, really loose, the uh, ferrite core on this transformer, so it cannot be good, we have a Cypress, EZ USB that seems to be a little bit weird, no, it was just dirty. So, USB interface obviously, oscillator 12 MHz here, lot of test points, some um, RAM or ROM, and one Altera Max. I see here, which is the main brain of the thing, with some more stuff power supply here so it is the patient interface side of the thing which is interesting and i did just see we have more parts on the other side so let me grab a screwdriver real quick and undo four screws if i can because one is not cooperating Plastic stand off here. 
Alors, un glue more exactly, yes, there are glued in the base plate. So on the other side we have a whole bunch of total amp capacitors, it seems, mostly. Okay. So this will go to the recycling, I believe. We have no use for it. But I am quite happy to at least see what inside one of these radio sensors. Not uh, something you see every day. So very nice construction. Quite uh, unusual to see. And it goes like this actually, yes, you can see here, here, here there is a space provided for the wires. Quite, uh, I was not expecting to have it just uh, closed with a bit of uh, rubber like this. It was glued all around, but I was believing it was uh, hard uh, epoxide on a single block of epoxy. So, maybe it is possible to repair them more or less, but this one is obsolete by now anyways. Now they use uh, little uh, plates, no sensors in the move anymore. So, thanks for watching, bye bye.